NTU Academic Building South is a six-story educational building. It is currently Asia's largest mass engineered timber building in terms of the volume of timber use. NTU ABS is designed by RSP in collaboration with Doyeto and Associates Architect. RSP engineering partner Square Mac are the M&E engineers for this project. The NTU Academic Building South is primarily dedicated to NTU's Nanyang Business School, where business and research students, academic and administration staff will utilize the space daily. The building spans across 220 meters long, with roughly 42,000 square meters. Nanyang Business School was formerly located at 15 Nanyang Avenue, a short distance away from where we are standing right now. The choice to move the building was to cater to the school's expected growth and continual improvement in research and teaching facilities. It is also to provide the opportunity for the exploration of state-of-the-art facilities. Construction of this building began in June 2019. We obtained the temporary occupation permit in February 2023, and today it is officially opened and launched to the public. The client's design brief specified the use of MET as building material. Because of this, 78% of the floor area is constructed with MET. NTU ABS has a simple and efficient modular timber frame system. When you walk into the building, you will be greeted with a timber interior from column to ceiling. Our client wanted to focus on the provision of collaborative spaces to promote interaction between the students, researchers and professors. This is realised by having the spaces allocated and integrated seamlessly with essential MEP services and shafts. The users would only need to fit out the spaces or to provide the next layer of services or facilities which are specialised to their field of research. Our vision for this project is to create a large-scale timber building that inspires human senses and stimulates learning. Compared to conventional concrete building, the timber provides the warm touch which is impossible to achieve with a relatively colder concrete or steel. The gentle curve form of the NTU ABS embraces the nearby Yunnan Garden to fully integrate with the Yunnan Garden Redevelopment Master Plan. The use of MET as a construction material was relatively new in Singapore at the time of construction. Therefore, it's imperative for us to specify the suitable type of timber, ensure fire protection, moisture protection, termite protection, acoustic treatment needs are met. Rainwater management and moisture control during the construction were also critical consideration under the humid weather in Singapore. The building and all its provisions are designed with due consideration of the safety and comfort of the various users. In terms of accessibility, we ensure that people with varying physical capabilities would be able to access and move around the building with ease. All interconnectivity and accessibility with the surrounding buildings have also been considered and enhanced where possible. As the building is spread out along the north-south axis, the NTU ABS can capture the prevailing winds. This enhances the cross-ventilation within the building and thus creating a very comfortable and energy-efficient environment for its users. In terms of structure, the MET is considered the building's largest carbon-free component with used for NTU ABS. MET is a highly sustainable material. It can be prefabricated off-site and assembled on-site, saving construction time and manpower. This method of construction is also cleaner and more environmentally friendly as the dust, debris and noise that is typically generated during the construction is contained within the prefabrication factory. Plenty of energy savings measures have been implemented for NTU ABS. One of which is the passive displacement ventilation system. It is less energy intensive. We have installed passive displacement ventilation system for most of the air conditioning spaces. We installed photovoltaic cells on available roof space for generations of green energy and contribution back to the power grids. 
Because of these features, NTU ABS has obtained the BCA Greenmark Platinum Zero Energy Certification back in 2021 during the project construction phase. In the future, we hope to see more buildings in Singapore adopt sustainable measures in their construction. In line with the nation's aim to go carbon-free by 2050, firms will need to ensure future buildings are sustainable and environmentally friendly. RSP is currently working on Singapore 5th University, Singapore Institute of Technology's Pongo Campus Court. For SIT, we incorporated similar measures as NTU ABS. It is currently set to open by 2024 and has already been certified Green Mark Platinum with multi-purpose hall and canteen being super low energy. After years of hard work, we are excited to finally see the completion of NTU ABS, 